Hi Suraj, how are you? Hey, hi Rakesh, I'm good. How are you? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. So let me give a brief introduction of you to all the viewers who are watching this video. So uh, team, we have Suraj today who would like to share his success story with us. How did he appear for various software testing interviews? What all questions did he uh, did he get in all those interviews? How was the interview process? So he's going to share with us the story of his, uh, you know, his QA success story. How did he get a job and what was his package earlier and to what extent now the package has increased, right? So first of all, uh, many, many congratulations to you, Suraj, for uh, getting Thanks. multiple Thanks, offers. Package. Yeah. So, so Suraj, you know, uh, this has been so good, you know, after I'm hearing this thing after so many days, you have been receiving multiple offer letters and that too in this particular time when uh, mm -hmm. the things about layoffs and all those things are going on. Mm -hmm. right? So would you like to tell us about how many years of experience you have and in which all companies you have got the offer? Sure. So uh, basically, Rakesh, I, like, uh, I have a total of six years of experience. And uh, I started my career with uh, Infosys. Uh, so just for the whole community to know, I'm not a B.Tech graduate. So I have done my uh, BCA. And uh, after completing my BCA, I like it was a very normal college. And I got an opportunity from a different college, from an off-campus uh, event. And uh, I got selected for uh, the operations executive. There's a position uh, for the BCA and BSc IT graduates. And uh, luckily I was like into, I went for the Mysore training and over there I was like trained for uh, Java development uh, domain. And then uh, like uh, after the uh, training got completed, we were like mapped to a testing project. So uh, in Infosys, like I was uh, handling few uh, manual stuff and stuff like that. And uh, luckily I like, apart, instead of going into the operations section, I was mapped into the uh, testing area, like the core IT domain. So post that, I was like, uh, uh, after spending around, uh, you know, three years in, uh, 2.8 years in uh, Infosys, I started looking for a change then. And uh, like, I landed into Cognizant. So I began my career with uh, 2.19 uh, LPA. And uh, then I moved to uh, Cognizant. And uh, in Cognizant, it was uh, somewhere between 4.8 to 5. And... Uh, in Cognizant, I got a good, very good exposure, although it was really difficult uh, because you don't come from the automation background and all of a sudden you are supposed to handle a lot of things. But yeah, it was a really good experience. So I would like to you know, uh, tell everyone that if you're not from the uh, manual team, definitely go for the take in the initial days itself. That will really help you a lot. So that's what I did. And I moved to the automation. So initially I was working with uh, Java with Selenium and uh, it, it was a data-driven kind of framework. And I learned a lot of stuff over there, uh, including DevOps and automation areas. So after spending for around uh, one year with uh, Cognizant, um, and then COVID came in and many stuff uh, you know happened. So I again started looking for a change and uh, I landed into a very good organization called Siemens India. So uh, it's a superb company. Uh, it's a good product-based organization. And I, like, I, I enhanced my skills there is a lot. So uh, now in Siemens, I was working with... Uh, Protractor and JavaScript, uh, along with uh, the DevOps area as well. So here, like uh, if, uh, my package was around uh, eight to ten, and uh, during this period of time, I was like, uh, you know, seeing all most of my friends switching to different jobs, and I was like, uh, I was also trying to get a new, uh, you know, job with a good pay, to be honest. But uh, then I realized that I don't want a good, uh, you know, uh, uh, just a good package i want a good company as well so at that point of time i thought that i'm not going to hit for the normal mncs like you know uh, infosys tcs and stuff like that because i was already part of it back then and i currently i'm in a good product based organization so i will be going to only good product based organization else i'll be sticking into it so i selected few companies and i only sat for those few companies and like uh, i didn't feel like i was uh, getting calls for interviews from uh, many MSCs, but uh, after you know knowing that okay, I am able to crack those interviews. I didn't went forward because there is no point of uh, you know wasting both my time and the company's time as well. So I selected a few companies like Mastercard, Visa, Amazon, uh, good product-based companies who actually pay good and the work culture is good where you can learn more. So I started preparing for myself for with uh, data structures and with them and uh, Java properly. So, and the 
uh, devops areas and the whole testing unit as well and uh, so uh, like after spending around 2 to 3 months i think like i i thought i was good enough then i reached uh, to the uh, linkedin community and uh, i asked people to refer me on these these organizations and uh, luckily i got a call from them and um, after that like uh, yeah i was very really happy that i was able to crack those interviews wonderful so you know i am so happy to hear that you are actually uh, you have done bca and Correct, yeah. from operations executive then you converted into an it role you learned java you did selenium with java you did protector and uh, you know that's uh, superb i mean so many things right yeah i think like uh, it's all depends on like what 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 career you want because i remember when i was in uh, infosys i was preparing for some uh, uh, competitive exams uh, government competitive exams like ssc cg and upsc and stuff like that but uh, i don't I, i don't i really don't know if it went good or if it went uh, wrong that i was not able to clear it to be honest uh, but uh, yeah like i I'm, i'm happy with the thing which i have right now so really whatever happens happens for the best yeah exactly so you gave interviews in amazon right and you got an offer letter as well so what was right, the yeah. interview experience and what was the package that was offered yeah so uh, for uh, mastercard and uh, visa the ctc was around somewhere between 28 to 31 lpa and uh, for uh, amazon it was around 35 to 38 between somewhere around that and uh, what i felt different in these organizations were like uh, they were not at all you know uh, uh, they were not looking for someone who knows the basic uh, you know java and selenium stuff and uh, just tell me these top 100 interview questions like generally what we have in the top mnc's so they were like uh, from the first go itself they were focusing on uh, data structures and algorithm link list circular link list hash maps stuff like that so uh, it really like excites you as well uh, that uh, you know uh, that you are also uh, you feel confident that okay i am here with because of i have done these all stuff in my past and uh, the other thing which i feel right now is like even now i like someone will say uh, just sit on this interview and crack it for a good purpose organization i don't think i am that much capable because you need a continuous learning approach in this and uh, yeah like uh, even now like i i gave interviews for many other companies like uh, adobe and uh, other stuff as well so i was not able to clear it but uh, yeah let's see in future if things goes well wonderful one so 35 to 38 lakhs per annum and uh, the location that they had offered you was bangalore or was it work from home uh, no so for uh, mastercard it was pune and uh, because like for siemens i was working with pune itself mm. so and for the rest of other organizations like uh, amazon and visa uh, it was for bangalore okay. and it was a kind of hybrid model absolutely great so what was the interview process and what were the interview questions asked okay so uh, like for uh, mastercard and visa it was uh, kind of similar questions uh, in the uh, first round so uh, most of the times like they were focusing on data structures and algorithm and even for amazon as well they were also focusing on uh, uh, this uh, data structures and algorithm so if like i would recommend someone how to start the preparation uh, first i would say uh, you know get your hands good on java first java basics first once you are done with java go ahead with the uh, data structures and algorithm uh, you know with using any platform like geeks for geeks or stuff like that and then once you feel a bit confident uh, just move to lead code lead code is a best platform to practice data structures and algorithm okay so how many interview rounds for there and any practical rounds like you had to write some java programs or algorithms and all those things or all were the yes Uh, no uh, for uh, like i think for three of the companies uh, it was totally uh, practical round only so two uh, i think two technical was for uh, mastercard and one managerial and uh, for visa also it was two technical and one managerial and for amazon it was i think uh, three technical and uh, one managerial and uh, like for three of them i wouldn't say that the difficulty level increases it's just that they it, it, the other person asked a different it's a structural algorithm question that's it 
and at the last round like uh, on the managerial round or, or before that they ask some basic testing uh, methodologies and questions that's it scenario based questions okay now did you upload your cv on the nokri.com and or were all these calls that you know you were getting from visa mastercard amazon were they mm -hmm. from the linkedin community people who referred you or you got yeah, so i yeah i uploaded my uh, cv on uh, nokri as well and uh, like i most of the calls were coming for a normal mnc some organizations like uh, you know uh, uh, in and uh, TCS, but uh, I was looking for something different and for that I was not getting calls and uh, what I did was I uh, was like I took the help of referrals and uh, for those referrals like uh, I asked normal uh, LinkedIn community to refer me. Okay, okay. Any piece of advice that you would like to give to the people or to the community who are looking for jobs these days? Yeah, uh, I would say, uh, you know, getting into the comfort zone is one of the biggest uh, trouble which I like generally felt in when I was in Infosys. So during the initial three years, uh, I was kind of in my comfort zone and then I shifted to, uh, you know, uh, Cognizant. But uh, currently when I'm seeing like people, they are not even like pressure, they are not even staying for, you know, two or one, one year as well. So it's good actually for your own learning perspective. But if you're learning good, I think you should stay more than organization. Absolutely. So apart from, uh, you know, Selenium with Java and data structure algorithms, any other thing that you would, uh, you know, ask or one should study or one should learn to get into, mm -hmm. to get a job into these kind of companies? Yeah. So currently, uh, you know, there are a lot of people with uh, Selenium and Java in the market. And if you want to stand out of these, uh, I think you should have a good grip on the DevOps part as well. So if you can go ahead and learn, uh, you know, Jenkins, uh, Bitbucket and uh, integration stuff like that, Docker and a little bit of uh, Kubernetes, I think that will uh, create a huge impact on it, on the CV. And uh, also if you're like, uh, the backend automation is also trendy these days. Uh, rest assured, and uh, Cypress, and uh, you know, if you have uh, a good knowledge on or a basic knowledge on the uh, load testing side, I think that also gives you a, a very up, you know upper hand. Absolutely yes. So load testing, rest assured, these things are uh, in super demand these days. So that one should. Uh, upgrade to these uh, particular things and uh, one more thing i would like to ask so your package was somewhere around 8 to 10 lakhs and now your package increased from 35 to 40 so how how do you feel about it i i mean i i really uh, can't believe it still uh, that someone from a bca uh, background can actually achieve uh, something like this but it was all because of my you know, god's grace and uh, i won't say hard work i i would say myself as lucky Yes. No, no, definitely it's all results of because of the effort, the hard work that you had put. And definitely, yes, God's grace is there that uh, helped you to, you know, uh, get your dream. So, once again, Suraj, many, many congratulations. And thank you so much for coming on our channel and should be more success to thank you. Us. Thank you, Rakesh. Thanks a lot. Uh, just the last thing, like your videos really helped me a lot while preparing for the interviews uh, you know uh, whenever i when i used to complete any theoretical or any programs which i was like kind of stuck in it and i really felt frustrated i don't want to continue anymore i was like i just uh, you know open youtube and uh, few some see some mock interviews so, so that mock interviews like they really help you you don't you know that these are the questions there you know that it's going to come but you kind of focus on the uh, you know the more difficult parts and at the end of the day those Little ones kick your, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, it really helped us. Uh, yeah. It really Thank helped you. me personally. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that these videos actually helped you. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much, Suraj, for uh, coming on our channel and sharing the success story. Right. Uh, wish you all the best for your future. Keep growing, keep shining. Yeah. Thank you, Rakesh. Thanks a lot.